Okay, so I have been asked this question a lot. How do you do the glowy eye effect just like in your profile picture? So I'm gonna explain exactly that in this video. The first thing a lot of people do wrong, I would say, is um, they take the brush tool and they start to paint uh, immediately, like so. <laughs> what the hell is even that? We wanna go down here and go to the adjustment layer options and we wanna take exposure layer. I wanna lower the exposure. Okay, now what we are gonna do is we're gonna down here again and go to solid color and we're gonna pick like a very off white click ok click the mask and press ctrl i to invert and we're gonna start painting so the reason i am using the white color if you look at a glowing object in real life you will see that at the core center you'll see white color the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this solid color layer to do that ctrl j and we're gonna delete this layer mask Put the layer mask again press ctrl i double click here and pick a color any color press ok increase the brush size lower the opacity to maybe 30 percent and then click the layer mask and start painting just around the glow with white color put this layer behind the white color now if you zoom out you will start to see what we are trying to achieve here and we're going to do exactly the same on this side as well. Let's rename these things inner core. The next step is to just duplicate this layer and you can put this behind. You can delete this layer mask, put a new layer mask, control I to invert. And you can just take the brush tool, increase the brush size and uh, lower the opacity, right click shrink the brush shape into an oval shape and sort of like experiment go up here and maybe take linear dodge or linear dodge add this will sort of um blend the glow uh, with the background okay one other thing that i did not do in my profile picture is lens flare as you can see a lot of movies and tv shows with characters with glowy laser eyes have this so let's try to do that but before continuing i want to mention the sponsor of this video that is subnet i recently got this amazing stand-in desk from them and it's awesome a graphic designer's job is very sedentary therefore a stand-in desk is a must-have i would say you can adjust it to different heights it even has a headphone holder and a mug holder and this thing is very very sturdy actually believe me i checked my weight against it and it supports weight up to 80 kg i mean that is insane they even have gaming chairs and pc builds so go to subnet.gg that is spnt.gg and use the promo code visha to get 100 of your off from your stand-in desk by the way they only ship to Maldives for now anyways let's get back to the video so i got this lens flare from vect easy i'll put a link in the description press shift key and make it very very small and we're going to expand it just a bit we're going to select maybe like screen let's move it to let's make it smaller and conveniently this lens flare is in blue color so we don't need to change the color exactly um, but if you do have to change the color you can just like a red color you can go to the image adjustment and hue and saturation you can just change the color like so the next thing you want to do is you want to make this glow even bigger what i want to do is just delete the layer mask and put the layer mask again Control i and just take the brush tool and make white color opacity 12 and just paint okay guys that is how you do the glowy eye effect in photoshop if you enjoyed this video uh, and learned something new and if you want to learn how to do the highlights effect please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then salam